remind me to never do this again because it is such a pain in the neck. We're going to add a Twitter feed to a blogger website. So you can add your Twitter feed to your blogger website. And basically what this is going to entail is having a blogger website, duh, and having a Twitter account. Here's my Twitter account over here. Eventually, there it is. And what you're going to do is you're going to make something using um, Twitter called a widget. And then you're going to cut and paste that code and copy it into a little thing that's on Blogger called a gadget. All right, so we're going to go from a Twitter widget to a Blogger gadget. And the first thing you're going to do, well, let me give you a quick tour, and then uh, it's fairly self-explanatory. Sign into your Blogger account. You want to be signed in, and you click on Design. And that'll bring up this page, and then you go to, on to the left, and you bring up Layout. The layout is a map, a layout, if you will, of your account, of your, rather, your blog site. And we're going to add a gadget, and you can add a gadget anywhere, and you can see all these spots where it says add a gadget. But we're going to add a gadget here. Now, what is a gadget? A gadget is a little bit of code that you can attached to your blog or website. And some of these are like a video bar or a slideshow. You can do these things. And we're going to use this thing called HTML JavaScript gadget. So we'll come back to that in a sec. So first, let's make the widget. The widget is the Twitter thing. So go to your Twitter, sign in, and up to the top, you'll see a little geary thing. I don't know what you would call this, the geary thing. Click on the Geary thing, and you'll see down at the bottom, Settings, and click on Settings. This all assumes you're signed into your account. And you're going to see where it says Widgets down at the bottom on the left. So click on Widgets, and it says Create New Widget. So you'll create a new widget. Now, a widget is a little bit of code, and they give you a couple of different types of widgets to make, but we're going to make a User Timeline widget. Now look, honestly, you don't have to do very much. You could almost go like this. You can, this is what you're going to make. It's going to look like that. I can control the theme here. I can set it to dark, for instance, and there it is. Now it's a dark widget. And I can set it to light. Now it's a light widget. Let's make it dark. Now this controls the size of the widget. The default is 600. I'm going to make it as small as possible. And from experimentation, I have figured out that 250 is as small as possible. Uh, try Ignore link color and all this other stuff, but this is important where it says domains. You need the domain name, the URL name, that this widget's going to feed into. So go back to Blogger. Oops, go back to Blogger. And I'm just going to click View Blog. And what I need to get is that there, stackworld.blogspot.com. So I'm going to copy that, and I'm going to bring it back over to the widget thinger, and I'm going to paste it where it says domains. And there it is, HTTP, stackworld.blogspot.com. So this connects things through. I don't know what opt-out of tailoring widget is. And then you're going to click, click, click Create Widget. There's the widget. Now, where is the widget? It looks the same. The widget is right there. It's that code that's already highlighted. So we're just going to copy that code. And you can see it right there. That code is now going to be pasted over into the blog spot. So I'm over in Blogger. I click Add a Gadget. Up comes my gadgety window thing. And the gadget I'm going to add, as you all know, what is it? It's an HTML JavaScript gadget. <coughs> now, what are we going to call it? Let's call it Twitter Feed at Last, because I've done this like 10 times. Oh, and I'm typing like an idiot. Twitter, <laughs> Twitter Feed for Idiots. All right. And I'm going to paste in my code I took over from the widget 
maker for Twitter. And I click Save. And there you see it, Twitter feed for idiots. Now, if I go to my blogger, it's not there. But if I refresh, <coughs> there it is. And this will automatically update itself. When I do something on Twitter, it'll pop up over here. Now, if you decide you hate this, it's pretty easy. You go back in over to your blogger layout thing and find Twitter feed for idiots and click edit and remove and refresh and it's gone. All right, so that's how you do it. In a nutshell, you're going to make a widget by going to settings and then clicking on widgets and blah, 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 blah. And then you're going to paste that code into a gadget you make on Blogger. So it's pretty easy. You should be able to do it. It's easier to set up a Twitter feed than it is to tell you how to set up a Twitter feed. Good luck.